Have I been down here so long? Is the madness so great that I see the faces of the damned before me? Or, or is it really you? It is! By the tome! Come closer. Let me look at you. It has been an eternity since I've seen a trusted face. Are you? In many ways, your awakening has brought me nothing but misery. But that is not your fault. I am to blame for all of it. Wait. Do you hear that sound? It could be the Sons of Laz, but it could be someone else. Last we spoke, it was the Tuatha that reduced my lab to cinders. Now it's assassins. Everywhere I go, destruction follows. I have grown so weary of it, my friend. All I ever wanted was to unlock death's secrets, to shed light on the shadows. I never wanted this. Thank you. For more than just your protection, for being the one good thing to come of this disaster. I have few friends, but I gladly count you among them. You must be mistaken. I've tried to contact him ever since I fled Alistair, but he never replied. Until now. Ah, Tien. Of course. When all the facts are considered, the truth will emerge. Ah, I am a fool! Ah, Tien has sent you to search for me. To have us killed together. Those assassins are proof of this. The Well of Souls is his project. Once it was functioning, he no longer needed me. Not if he could salvage the well in Alistar with Ventrenio's help. No, not me. But Ventrenio's old notes suggest that he may know a way into Alabastra. I wonder, perhaps, is it possible that you have met Ventrenio already? That would explain it. You were attuned to his well, but raised from mine. Unfortunately, the only way to find Ventrinio is to go through Templar Octien, which will not be easy now that we know of his treachery. Never. The only voice he wishes to hear is his own. We cannot deal with Octien within the boundaries of Edessa. Not alone. There is one who has the power to discredit him. Templar Joriel. She is reputed for her wisdom and strength of character. And, as I recall, she and Octien do not exactly see eye to eye on matters of policy. If Joriel can make Octien answer for his crimes, then we will gain access to his information. That includes the location of Ventrinio's lab. If you wish to uncover the mystery of your death, then you will need Ventrinio. He is the key to Alabastra. Find Templar Joriel in Edessa. We don't have much evidence, but I have a feeling she will help us.
Hold right there, newcomer. I welcome you to Edessa, but before you enter, I must catalog your visit. Please answer the questions as truthfully as possible. It's imperative that our tallies be accurate. Now, what brings you to Edessa? Yes, well, at least you look more put together than some of the people that came here before you. Poor sods. With any luck, your errands go without incident. Now, where have you come to Edessa from? F f for Morris Hughes? You mean to say you've come from Alistar? Yes, I, I see it now. They were wrong about your nose, but you match the description of the one I was to look out for. We can dispense with the remainder of my questions. You are free to enter Edessa. Sandstone Villa will serve as your lodgings. Temporarily. This is rare, newcomer. Very rare. If I can speak frankly, I'm not sure this is the blessing you take it to be. True, you have been saved from the squalid lodgings of the Hospitalis Quarters. But Sandstone Villa is reserved for... Uh, well, it is not my place to speak of it. This key will provide you with access to the villa. You would do well to be very aware of your surroundings, stranger. Now, good day. Yes, yes, go on. What? Oh! Yes? What do you want? I am not in the habit of making conversation with strangers, especially one of your stature. Please be quick. I see. Think very, very carefully about what you are saying. Octien is a Templar. He is in a position of the highest authority. And who, may I ask, are you? For you to accuse Octien without having a direct confession is not only meaningless, but contrary to all our procedures. Make no mistake, stranger. If you initiate hostilities with a Templar, then you will become an enemy of the Gnome State. Justice is pursued when a Templar confesses to his crimes. Then and only then. And Octien will confess to nothing, I assure you. I can do no more for you. Trouble me no further with this matter, especially when you have so little evidence. We have already discussed this. Nothing short of a confession would convict him. As such, Templar Octien will remain undisturbed in the Lavrarium. I'm here to send regrets on behalf of Templar Joriel. While she wishes to extend you aid, she's stymied by protocol. What she gave you was an official response. I'm here to give you another response. A personal one. My superior has suspected for some time the crimes that you've levied against Templar Octien. But like you, she is frustrated by his status. Allow me to be direct. If you can make Templar Octien publicly acknowledge his crimes, then Templar Joriel will reward you. She will be your patron of sorts. 
You wish to bring the Templar to justice, yes? Then you must get him to publicly acknowledge his crimes in some form. As my superior no doubt told you, the Templar may be found in the Livrarium. I suggest you go there. Unexpected and quite unfortunate turn of events. For starters, they expected you to be rotting in a sandy ditch somewhere. Supper for the carrion birds. Understand, you and I are alike. All we both want is to see this business reach its end. The White Palm are hardly thugs. Simply finding them cost me a small fortune, when I expect to be reimbursed with this failure. You are a child. These crimes, as you call them, shall be my final triumph. Innocent blood has been the price for this research. But the Well of Souls is priceless. It is worth every sacrifice. I do have one confession, though it's not the one you seek. If a fight is what you desire, you will find me quite hard to kill. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for you. The wise and the foolish both die. Is that justice? With the Well of Souls, I can change that. I can choose who deserves life. To think that yous gave away such a gift. To you. Well, we've seen how you wasted your life. Perhaps I'll give Intrinio your corpse to examine. After all, you met your first death as his assistant. It would be a reunion. You're certainly welcome to try.
If setting fire to the Livrarium and hiring assassins is not an admission of guilt on Octien's part, I certainly don't know what is. It is clear that we Templars must make him assume responsibility for his actions, overt as well as hidden. Even though you went against my explicit instruction, you were effective. You have my respect. Should he survive the wounds earned in battle, I should think so. To that effect, I have ordered a moratorium on all of his current studies and projects. All, perhaps, save this mysterious well of souls. That one will take some deliberation, considering its various ethical and societal ramifications. Regardless, Gnome Society is in your debt, and we always pay what is owed. Ventrinio Desolini. One name I never expected to be brought into this business. It seems he has escaped the gallows yet again. I believe your friend Scholar Hughes may be able to help. While you were here, my people found him salvaging the tomes Octien attempted to burn. Now you must excuse me. A Templar has fallen from power, and Odessa's political buzzards are circling. <laughs> You again. What is it you require of me? Do get to the point. You can leave me to deal with Octien. I believe Fomerus Hughes is on his way here, with information more pertinent to you. <laughs> 